Well, talks are continuing on how to better protect Lafayette homes from flooding. A popular suggestion has been dredging the Vermilion River. But the Corps of Engineers said today the $150 million price tag will protect too few people. But as Armand Boyd found out, some residents living along the river are pushing for the project to proceed. In the press conference today, the study shows that dredging the Vermilion River is not a long-term solution, and some citizens feel it should still be considered. I would really like to see the science that says only these hot neighborhoods around the river benefit from dredging this river. Dave Dixon has lived near Vermilion River for nearly 30 years. He believes the numbers presented by the corpse are not accurate and do not consider how long it takes for the water to be drained out after flooding. That's a period of risk. Does that, does that make sense? So if you're already starting with the river high and you get a big event coming in there, okay, you're, you're going to flood some people. That ha that's exactly what happened in June. However, U.S. Army Corps engineer Mark Westgate says concentrating on the Vermilion River is not the best long-term solution, especially because less than 200 people would benefit from the multi-million dollar project. It would require substantial investment with very limited benefits. But more importantly, what it really shows us is if we're to move forward as a region, we really need to look at more comprehensive solutions. The final decision has not yet been made. Officials say they're continuing to brainstorm to figure out what is best. We, we want to find the best way to invest the people's treasure in, in order to impact the greatest number of those homes that were affected by the, that major water event. That, that's, that's what we're measuring again. Congressman Higgins also mentioned that a press release would be sent out today detailing all of the findings in this study. In Lafayette, Iman Boy, KTC, TV3.